I wanted to do a quick video about something I have witnessed for quite some time now since I have become born again. I noticed that there are a lot of people who call themselves Christians arguing and fighting amongst themselves. And whether you like to admit this to yourself or not, your prideful behavior is convicting you that when you decide to be argumentative uh, towards others and have it in your heart that you are more Christian or you have a better understanding of God's Word, the Bible, or you think that your salvation is completely locked in. Um, I'm here to tell you that I would be very, very careful about what you say, how you behave, um, and stop basically convicting others because you are convicting yourself. That your prideful behavior is what is going to keep you here. And I know that there are thousands of people who call themselves Christians that are going to argue that you know, oh, well, I'm saved by grace. And, you know, once you're saved, you're saved. Well, I'm glad that your pride, that your pride, your self-assurance is uh, um, I don't even know what to put, how to put it, <laughs> that your self-assurance is uh, works for you because repenting every single day of your sins should tell you that you need to humble yourself. You can't go before the Lord God and pray and ask for forgiveness of your sins in a prideful way. You need to humble yourself and truly be sorry or you're not really sorry. So, and I'm not talking about putting a show um, and a display uh, for Jesus Christ because he can see into you and he knows you. Um, so be very careful about looking down upon other Christians um, because if there are others who are struggling and misinterpret scriptures or they misunderstand or they're a little bit misguided, then you should be there to help lift them up and help them uh, build their relationship with Jesus Christ rather than pushing down on them and um, talking to them like you are righteous and uh, you're saved because, I don't know, I'd worry about that. So I just wanted to do a video. Uh, when you start being um, full of pride and full of this righteous attitude and behavior, uh, I'm going to have to say that the Lord God is probably frowning down upon that. And if you think that you are going to be saved during the time of the rapture, I, I've heard a lot of people say that these warm Christians are going to be very surprised when they're left behind. 
And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to remind others that, yeah, pride is not going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. You need to humble yourself and you need to reevaluate if you are talking to others in a disrespectful, uh, righteous manner. So that's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to share. I'm not judging anyone. I just, I felt it in my spirit that I needed to share that because we are living the last days and I see hundreds of people who are wanting the rapture to happen now. They want the rapture today, but they're tired of this world, but they're also arguing amongst each other and not being very nice to one another. And it's like, do you, do you know what you're asking for? Because I don't think you're prepared for the rapture. So yeah, I would ask for discernment. Ask the Lord God if there's anything that you're doing in your life that is holding you back and he will tell you. So pray often, humble yourself, don't be self-assured, don't treat others poorly, and yeah, build your relationship with Jesus Christ. That's all I wanted to say. I hope you are blessed and have a good evening.